I'll never get out of here. I'm not sure that I should. Excuse me for saying this, Miss Kearns. Mrs. Mrs. Kearns. You seem quite, quite normal. I mean, in comparison to the other patients here. Well, I have my dark days. I suppose everybody does. <clears throat> the difference is uh, most people don't kill their husbands with an ax. Huh. Although, personally, I think if, if a man beats you and fucks half the women he sees and no one will help you, axing him isn't the least understandable thing you could do. Maybe you shouldn't get out. <laughs> what would I do if I did? I don't know the world anymore. They say there are bombs that can reduce whole cities to ash. And uh, what do you call them? Televisions, voices and faces coming from a box. <laughs> I hear enough voices already. <laughs> what can you tell us about Rachel? Um, not much. Uh, she, she keeps to herself. She believed her kids were alive. She thought she was still living in the Berkshires, and we were all her neighbors, the, the, the milkman, postman. Delivery men. And Dr. Sheehan was there that night? Yes. Um, he talked about anger. Tell me about him. What's he like? Uh, he's... Uh... Okay, nice. Um, not hard on the eyes, as my mother would say. <laughs> Did he ever make a pass at you? No. No, Dr. Sheehan's a good doctor. He would never. Um, could, I, could I have a glass of water, please? No problem. No. Never heard of it. 